ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that uh, 20 years after mm -hmm. Rwanda, we know a lot more about the dynamics of genocide and atrocity crimes. We know that genocide is a process that develops over time, and as such, we can prevent genocide if there is political will to do so. Uh, such political will can be mobilized more easily where states are already focused on the prevention of atrocity crimes. And therefore, mainstreaming the prevention of atrocity crimes necessitates uh, a specific approach in order to identify risk and design appropriate responses. For instance, a conflict prevention approach will not necessarily prevent atrocity crimes which take place uh, also in times of peace. And this brings me also to the role of parliaments. Democratically elected representatives have the capacity to ensure that the various threats of government action, including defense, foreign policy, development, inter uh, internal affairs, among others, address uh, atrocity prevention. Uh, parliaments can also be a driving force for the domestication of the international legal instruments that provide a framework for the criminalization of atrocity crimes, including uh, the Genocide Convention.